Double 18 outside Vicarage Road and the beautiful Graham Taylor statue. Here to look at deadline day and our transfer business so far. We've got Aidan here who's been very, very opinionated about some of the signings of other clubs. <laughs> now it's time to talk Watford. Mate, overall business this summer, I personally don't think it's been amazing. I mean, obviously the likes of Delafeu coming in, the core contract extension almost feels like a new signing, but how do you assess the window as a whole? Yeah, it hasn't been a great window, so to say, for us, but for the sakes of Delafeu signing a full-time deal and then getting uh, Foster back from uh, West Brom, he said he wouldn't have come to any other club, so respect for him for that. We've fin finally, after a long wait, got the uh, Penaranda. Yeah, uh, we, we finally got, got him to sign properly, so we might be able to see him hopefully next season. Then the Decore five-year deal, we needed that to uplift us because everybody thought oh, Decore is going to go to either like, Liverpool or so someone high up. But no, he's been committed to Watford, which is really good. But it's one thing constantly signing midfielder after midfielder after midfielder. That's all we seem to be doing. Yeah, we've got Messina and uh, Navarro, Navarro, which are cracking signings. I've seen them in pre-season. And the way they're running, they create that high energy for the defence. They're, they're always switched on, which we were missing last season. And they can push forward, but they know when to get back, which the likes of Holobas and Yamat don't really know when to stop. And they can put in really good crosses, which we've been missing as well from uh, the wing backs. But we need another striker for sure. I reckon Deeney's on, on his way out. I hate to say it because I love Deeney. He's earned my respect over these years. I admit, at first, I didn't like him, but then after what what he's done and how he's committed himself to the club has been brilliant but he is definitely on his way out he isn't the guy to take us forward i reckon gray will be one of the people to take us forward but he needs someone there with him i'm probably going to get slated for this and you and shane tried to slay me earlier for it danny welbeck he's only got till june left on his arsenal contract he's going for 15 mil he can dribble, he can hold up the ball, he can overlap people left, right and centre. For 15 million for a great player like that, it'll be an absolute steal. What fans have frustrated at is really, can we get a 30, 25 million pound striker? If, if we're saying AC.5 for Andre, great. It's not like we don't have the money, and especially with the Richarlison deal, fans are saying, well, why, why don't we, if, what's the point of selling Richarlison if we're not going to reinvest it anywhere? Yeah, but we, we sold Richarlison Signed Delafay full time, and we and um, our midfield is completely stacked. So, so we're covered in that area now. Nah. And with another another striker, we can spell spend 20, 25 mil, etc. Like that. But I wouldn't go any higher than thirty, because no, knowing us, we'll spend 30, 35 mil on a striker. He'll play like. Well, just like Zerati, played two, three games, get injured out for the rest of the season, no, no, no luck. So are you happy with the squad? Yeah, apart from that one improvement we need. We've improved at the back, we've improved the midfield, and we do have a good striking force, but we're missing that one special something. So you've got to spend money for that, though. Yeah. You've got to get a special something, you need to splash the cash. Yeah, but again, I reckon that special som something can be in Dan Danny Welbeck. Yeah, you guys might, might not agree with me, but I know others out there that do. It's all about confidence in strikers for me. Gray's getting so much confidence in pre-season, he's, he's banging them in for fun. He's got, what, two, three goals pre-season already, and he's assisted one for success. And against uh, Sandoria here, he got re really unlucky not to score, score a couple. It was just that, that one shot he had in front of the family stand. He had to take, take that first time because there was no help for him there whatsoever. And Dini get, getting that goal, yeah, it will help his confidence for the start of the season. But progressing f throughout, we definitely do need so someone else. But 
if we need to spend 25, 30 mil on a, on a striker to bang the goals in for us, so be it. 